I'm not going to um, start going down that road. There is a troubling um, direction that some of this is going in, but we're going to let this um, review and go on. I can't say whether anything was masked or unmasked uh, improperly, uh, and the White House seems to be doing everything it can to point in other directions and say, do not look here, there is nothing to see here. Oh, but there's plenty to see here. One of the biggest stories of the already eventful Trump presidency, perhaps of this decade, with Fox News confirming President Obama's national security advisor, Susan Rice, ordered the unmasking of her successor, retired General Mike Flynn, in coded intelligence reports that she was receiving through U.S. surveillance on foreign targets. That highly classified information was then leaked by whom we don't yet know to the news media, ultimately costing Flynn his job and possibly more trouble to come. Ahead of these disclosures, which were first reported by Mike Cernovich, an independent journalist, then by Eli Lake of Bloomberg View with others, including our own Adam Housley in Los Angeles, and yours truly contributing, President Trump was on Twitter posting Sunday morning, and I quote, the real story turns out to be surveillance and leaking. Find the leakers. Our panel, I'm pleased to tell you, will do that right here on set right now. <laughs> Guy Benson is political editor at townhall.com. A.B. Stoddard, associate editor at Real Clear Politics. Molly Hemingway, senior editor at The Federalist. And syndicated columnist Charles Krauthammer. Uh, friends all. Molly, uh, should we be surprised to find Susan Rice at the center of this story? You know, ever since Devin Nunez came out and talked about it, that there was this unmasking and dissemination, I sort of assumed it would be someone much lower level. This, you know, and also not someone within the White House. This is not a minor flunky. This is Obama's right-hand woman. This makes it from an already pretty serious allegations into something much bigger. A.B., where does the story go from?